Uh, Keenan Allen, <laughs> the ageless wonder, is back for yet another season in Los Angeles. I feel like he probably played with Drew Brees, if I want to go back and check this. I know he played with Rivers, clearly. Uh, 1,100 yards last year, eight tu uh, six touchdowns being drafted essentially in the second round of fantasy football drafts. So, you know, when it ends, it ends for players, Davis. We all know that. I guess the question is, does the show roll on for Ke Keenan Allen? Are you willing to take that chance? I mean, I think he's I think he's fine where he goes. I definitely slightly prefer T. Higgins and A.J. Brown to him in that wide receiver 10, 11, 12, 13 range. Keenan Allen last season, he just did what Keenan Allen does. Another 100 reception season, another 1,000-yard season. Uh, he has never had a double-digit touchdown season in his career entering into his age 30 season. I don't expect that this is going to be his, you know, one and only double digit touchdown season. He's very good in full point PPR formats, a little bit worse in half point PPR formats. I, I, I feel though that Keenan Allen is, is generally not a pick you make when you're trying to win your league, you know, kind of feels like playing for third, playing for fourth, you know exactly what he's going to do. He's very unlikely to, you know, do what Cooper Cup did last season, do what Justin mm -hmm. Jefferson did last season. He's he's generally targeted very close to the line of scrimmage. He plays a lot out of the slot, uh, you know, has a lower average depth of target than most truly elite fantasy football wide receivers. And all that's kind of priced in. Uh, generally speaking, though, for your team, you would prefer him to be your second wide receiver, not your first wide receiver. I'm not going to tell anyone not to take him. And certainly this version of Justin Herbert, a more aggressive quarterback than he's ever played with. And, you know, probably the most skilled quarterback that he's ever played with more skilled than, uh, than Phillip Rivers, I think. But I don't know, just early in the, early in the draft, it, it just kind of feels like settling on him. You know, like it just, if you, if you're taking a guy early in your draft who you don't think can score 10 touchdowns, it just doesn't feel optimal to me.